Hi GITV, Bob the Axe Man Hildebrand here, and today we're giving you a sneak peek on the FNX 45 Tactical. Alright, first and foremost, this is a prototype of the FNX 45. There's a lot of details we're missing, such as we don't know who it's OEM by, when it's going to be released, or what price it's going to be released at. But I got to tell you right off the bat, right out of the box, I am really excited because this gun is very fun to shoot and very accurate. Now, first and foremost, it has a lot of ambidextrous features, but also the gun is colored flat dark earth right out of the box, and it does have a slightly lighter colored slide on the gun. Now, as I mentioned before, it has a lot of ambidextrous features, such as an ambidextrous magazine release, an ambidextrous slide release, and an ambidextrous safety, which also acts as a decocker. Pretty awesome. Now, another really cool feature is the fact that there's a slot for you to mount an optic on the top of the gun. Now, you can leave this slot in so the optic's slightly raised, or you can take it out so it's much more flush with the gun. The fact that you can add an optic makes me much more likely to purchase this, at least that's how I feel. Now, there's also rails on the bottom of the front of the gun so you can attach aftermarket accessories like flashlights or lasers. There's also threading on the outside, well, on the outer barrel, and the threading is about 16 millimeter clockwise. Now, it's very similar to the Mark 23 or the Chris Vector threading. Uh, now, other features on this gun are the fact that it comes with removable back straps. Now, it comes with one that's already on the gun. It also comes with one that's a little bit slimmer in case you have smaller hands uh, for a more comfortable fit. Now, this gun weighs just over a pound, around 1.3 pounds, which is very usable and user-friendly on the airsoft battlefield. And we clock this in at shooting between 310 and 320 feet per second. All right, the last few things I want to note are the fact that this gun has licensed FN Herstal trades, which I like, gives that gun that extra added dose of realism. Also worthy of note is that the magazine has a really cool color, a kind of gunmetal chrome look that is very unique to this gun for the airsoft market, and also for the fact that you actually have to fill in the gas magazine on the back of the mag. It's a bit different than other magazines out on the market. Now, one other feature that I am particularly pleased with is the fact that this gun holds 25 rounds. That is an exceptional amount and definitely something I would want to carry as a sidearm. Well, without further ado, let's see how this shoots. I'm not gonna shoot in the studio, guys. Come on, <laughs> be realistic. Or maybe I am. All right, well, I know a lot of us here in the marketing department are really excited about this pistol coming to market, so make sure if you want more information on this, stay tuned to Airsoft GI's YouTube channel as well as airsoftgi.com. Once again, I'm Bob the Axeman Hildebrand. This is GI TV.